service agents are now clearing airspace over Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden's Delaware House ahead of his expected win. According to CNN, the Secret Service agents moved to clear the airspace over the former U.S. vice president after he took a lead in the state of Pennsylvania. Hmm. It was also reported that more Secret Service agents were sent to Delaware to protect Biden as he moves closer to 270 electoral votes needed to win the White House race. This is according to U.S. protocols that detects that a president elect would get larger security detail, same to that of a president. Additionally, the protocols also detect that the military to implement airspace security measures for the president elect. Biden on Friday afternoon took a narrow lead over President Donald Trump in the battleground states of Georgia and Pennsylvania, edging closer to winning the White House race. Biden has a 253 to Trump's 214 lead in the state by state electoral college vote that determines the winner of the winner and winning Pennsylvania's 20 electoral vote would put the former vice president over the 270 he needs to secure the presidency. Well, a lot of people have a, their, their opinion concerning all of this. Of course, you know, when it comes to this kind of a thing, a lot, the whole place is tense. Everyone, everywhere is agitated. Everyone is worried. Those who are Trump supporters all over the world, those who are uh, Biden supporters all over the world, they are saying many, many, many things. But from the look of things, you know, anything can happen. But some people have the opinion that uh, there's nothing <laughs> with the remaining uh, votes that have not been counted, that even if a Trump wins all of those places, that it might not help him in the uh, in the long run. But some people have the opinion that if you just, you know, just take it like that, that is it's already on his way out. That is it, that is the game for you. Some people will tell you, oh, uh, we want Trump to be there. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. Even if he wins, he's not going to be there forever. So somebody else must still take over. But the most important thing, and which I really believe, is that it is the people that have the say. Because now, whatever you must have had in the past or whatever you are holding on to, will not help you at this stage. It is the people that will, that will determine all of that. So because of the way everything is, but according to the, their, their own protocol, according to their own policy, that this kind of a... Uh, treatment should be given to him even if it's not even okay maybe a president elect of course it's not the president yet and the respect or the whatever or opportunities or whatever um that will be given to the president will be given to the president elect as well just like i said people with their different uh, opinions and everyone is entitled to his opinion and you are entitled and you are free to support anybody but a situation whereby people start abusing each other it is you know it goes it shows how immature some people are Somebody must win and somebody must lose. Just like Oshomole said, oh, you win some and you lose some. Oh, that's how life is. The most important thing, let them do the bidding of the people all over the world. But people take it beyond that and people start abusing themselves. They start quarreling. Somebody was telling me yesterday, oh, face Nigeria. What is your business? If you don't like it, go elsewhere. It's, it's me. I'm, 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 I, I talk whatever I feel like. I, I discuss whatever I feel like discussing. And that does not mean I have to be insulting people. If you don't like it, the person was saying, oh, I stay in America. And so what? You stay in America. So what's the big deal? You stay in America. So if other people stay elsewhere, so you, they, they have no right to talk about it, whatever they want to talk about. If you don't want to listen to, to what we are talking about, you move on. It's not a, a do or that affair. It's not by force. Everybody's entitled to, to his own you. So use our own opinion, but the most important thing, you respect others' opinion. That's what we are talking about. Everybody talks about it. We know even when the issue of the answers came on board, everybody, the whole world was talking about it. So what are we talking about? So that's just the way it is. But let's, uh, that by, that's by the wayside. But let's hear what people are saying concerning this as well. Well, someone is saying that uh, what has happened to Nigeria noisemakers supporting Trump as they pray and confess how is a God sent. Don't hide. God exalts the humble, um, the quiet also. It's the bidding dance now. Hmm. God's, God's time is the best. Okay, God is in control. Mostly pray for uh, Biden in Nigeria and Christian uh, fasting and praying for Trump to win the election. But please, me, I want to ask questions. Why always Muslim? They use win in prayer. Okay, remember good... Lord Jonathan and Muhammad Buhari in Nigeria uh, 
Allah wakuba. Okay. God loves humble people. May the Almighty grant you what what you right what really belongs to you. Okay, Trump should go. Should go. I don't know what this point is trying to say. Uh good to know. Biden will surely win. Hmm. Rumor monger two hundred and forty three has become two hundred and fifty three. And after praying, I hope your accounts will be credited. God works in a different way. Trump should humbly accept his defeat. It's a shame to be jittering as a Christian because Trump's because of Trump's defeat. God raises men for his glory and others for judgment. Hmm. Oh, wow. Trump should embrace peace. Congratulate Biden in advance. His unguided speech will not count. At least a godly control free and fair election could nigeria learn from this only jesus christ can do this yeah that is my president trump should come to nigeria those are america affairs with little consequences to the continent since foreign policies are well entrenched in their system biden is all the way Hope he won't come to promote a uh, gayism, whichever way. Mm. Even before Trump came, uh, were they not practicing all of those things? You know, that's what I just believe. So a lot of people are really afraid of some things. Let them, let's, let's, whosoever, whosoever that God wants will be there. That is just the way it is. Whosoever that God wants will be there and God will still do what he has to do. What I believe is that the power lies in the hands of the people. Whatever somebody who is going to come... I want to change the narrative that the people will not like. The people will still come out. Unfortunately, it can't happen in Nigeria. Now they are trying to tell you that uh, you can't even, they are, they are giving you all that you cannot, you can't, you can't even protest. You can't even complain. You complain, they will say, your own is too much. You protest, oh, ah, don't do this, this and that. This, you know, this fear and wherever. Over there too, at least to a very large extent, if they don't like whatever is happening, they will still come back. No, come out. Nobody's going to be shooting at anybody. Nobody's going to be threatening anybody. So, by and large, even in Nigeria, you know, recently this hashtag insert of 18, eh, it shook most of them. And that's why they didn't know how to go about it. And that was how they resorted to what they did because they are afraid of the people. They don't want people to come together because the, there is strength in unity. And that was what they saw. And they were jittering. The next thing, oh, they wanted to remove a Buhari say, government. They wanted to do this. They wanted to do that. So, at least in that place, they can still come out if anyone any president is saying anything that is contrary to what the people want they will still come out if at the end of the day the government will listen to them five the government will not listen to them but at least they know that they, they have exercised their rights so that is just the way i see this whole thing nobody should be afraid anybody that is there you uh, what will be will be just you know for your own life and you continue to pray that what whosoever that will be there their time will be favorable to you this idea of a say, oh, somebody, if this person comes, oh, he's going to change the narrative. It's a lie. It's a lie. Because my, men will disappoint you. Men will definitely disappoint you. If people are still counting on, on, on uh, ah, this person is going to be the Messiah of the world, he's going to be the, the Savior of the world. Most of the time, he does not come out like that. So, guys, uh, let us say, hear your opinion. We are going to be see, we are going to be letting you know what is really happening but from the look of things a lot of people believe that say hey, biden my might, might be the winner but anything can happen hmm let our miracle <laughs>